Hey, what's up you guys? It's the Muffin Man, and today I'm going to give you my top 5 pick for mobile games. Number 5, Pokemon Go. My number five mobile game pick would have to be Pokemon Go. Now, Pokemon Go was really cool when it first came out because it introduced the idea of being able to hunt Pokemon in the real live world. And it had a good concept. They had a lot of people playing it at first. However, when it first came out, it was very buggy, very glitchy. And to the, today, still to this very moment, they still have glitches. They still have bugs and things still error out. And um, I know personally on my own account, I couldn't find Pokemon for the longest time until just recently, like yesterday, I was able to find Pokemon again. Um, now, the game has a really cool idea because it, it forces you to get up and go. All the Pokemon, all the cool ones don't come to you. You have got to get up and go and go out to them. Very good concept, but the reason it's number five in my honest pick is because it's really buggy and really glitchy and... What game is fun if it's just buggy and glitchy? They need to improve a lot of things on it. And I think that once they add all the cool second gen stuff, I think it's going to be really awesome. But they really need to work out those kinks. Number four, DC Legends. My number four pick would have to be DC Legends. Now, the reason, the way I found out DC Legends, I'm actually more of a Marvel fan. Uh, but the way I found out about DG, DC Legends, I think it was actually on Instagram. I saw the advertisement for it. And I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. So I tried it out. And the object of DC Legends is that you build a team of four mixed of heroes and villains. They all have different attributes. And they got an RPG aspect to it. There's a map. There's boards. Um, and you play each level. You can get up to three stars at maximum. And if you get three stars, and you get better rewards um, and they have a, a normal board they have a heroic board and you can build character coins to get um, new characters and to upgrade to a legendary status very cool game I like it but it's not enough to be number one uh, still I mean it's fun but one thing I don't like about it is the energy um, you have to have stamina or energy to compete in this game. And whenever you run out of that energy, it involves using real life currency to buy more energy. Or you just have to wait for it to replenish. And a game like that, you get so caught up into it doing missions and doing boards. You run out of energy really fast. And it's kind of a bummer when you're out because you have to wait for it to replenish itself. And so... But it's still a cool game, and that's why it's number four. Number three, Duel Master. My number three pick on my list would have to be a game I actually downloaded this morning called Duel Masters. And it's actually a Yu-Gi-Oh game. And um, it's, again, it has that RPG aspect feel to it. Kind of similar to what DC Legends is. But it's very, um, not, oh, what's that N word? Old school. I'm just going to go with old school because I can't say no logic. <laughs> Set it. Okay, so the reason it's so cool is because, like I said, it's a throwback for those kids that really enjoyed Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's cool. I like it. So I have a feeling I'm going to really enjoy it. And it's going to be something that I'm going to be looking forward to play um, more of and get to know more of. So I highly recommend it. Go check it out. It's called Duel Masters. Go look it up on App Store. Go look it up on Google Play. I'm sure it's there. And you won't be disappointed. Number two, PewDiePie's Tuber Simulator. My number two pick would have to be PewDiePie's YouTube Simulator. Very cool game. I love it. Love, excuse me. I love everything about it. PewDiePie, you did an amazing job making this game. It's really fun. Basically, the object of it is to be like a YouTuber. You have your own crib that you get to customize fully. All the floors, all the walls, the decorations, desk, computer, person, everything. Um, you make videos and there's several different categories for those videos. And every day, there's uh, it's it changes. There's a daily um trending topic for these videos and the daily trending topics give you a boost in ratings and you get subscribers and you, you you get to compete against other youtubers that is set in the game and when you pass them up you get cool prizes cool rewards and the game is overall really fun to compete with especially if you play with friends as an overall this game uh is a game that you can keep playing over and over and you won't get bored because the opposite 
the, the possibilities are endless with all the things within the game. So PewDiePie, you did a fantastic job making that game, and that is why it is number two on my list. And my last but not least, number one pick on my channel for my mobile game of all time. Give me a drum roll, please. Number one, Subway Surfers. Subway Surfers. I love Subway Surfers so much because that game is so awesome. Ever since Temple Run came out, Temple Run's like the grandfather of all um, Rush, like Minion Rush and, and Subway Surfer. They have a Sonic, a Hedgehog one. They have a, a bunch of different alternative ones. But when Temple Run came out, it introduced the idea of running and dodging obstacles. And then Subway Surfers comes in, very cool style of cartoon graphic and the object of running and jumping over trains, collecting coins to unlock new characters. Uh, recently, I've taken a new liking into this game. I played it once before, I had played it in a while, put it down. My brother started playing it, and it sparked an interest in me to start playing it again. Uh, really like this game. I just unlocked a character with the bunny mask. Um, very awesome. Just got climb mask for him. And this game overall just gives you incentive to keep working hard because there's always things to unlock. You never run out of things to unlock. New characters, new boards, new upgrades, new missions, everything. Just keeps you on your toes. Which is why it is absolutely my number one pick for this listing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any mobile games that didn't make it into the listing but you would love to recommend them, leave them down in the comment section below. I would love to hear feedback from you guys. And um, without that, that being said and done, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, this is the Muffin Man saying, keep it fresh, have a good day, and God bless.